So guys, today we're going to uh, be going over all the um, Siren 17 kill motion. Uh, there are a lot of questions, a lot of discussions about uh, how the kill bolt works and whether you should have it or not. And what is the uh, proper length for the kill cable and uh, all this, uh, all these things. So let's take a look at the uh, kill now. And um, so this is a very rough uh, schematic of the siren skill. Um, but uh, as you can see there's like three important holes in the kill. Um, we'll start at the top. This is the uh, lock hole. So this is where you insert the uh, lock bolt or the lock pin, whatever you want to call it. Then underneath is a pivot bolt, which is almost uh, right under it on the same vertical line. Um, this is the uh, big bolt that you see at the bottom of your trunk. Um, it's an important one. That's the one that holds the keel. And uh, we want to make sure we keep this one um, very well sealed and in good shape. Uh, and then down at the bottom, uh, there's a small hole in the keel. This is where the, uh, the keel cable attaches. So this is the kill cable here that goes uh, back to the cockpit um, right at the entrance of the companionway. Um, so now if you look at the motions of the kill, so when sailing, especially in high winds, um, it's recommended that you lock the kill so it doesn't swing back into the trunk in case of uh, broaching and uh, that could eventually lead to something more serious, like uh, turtling your boat and uh, being uh, really hard to uh, ride back up. So under high wind, under uh, heavy weather conditions, um, it's really important that you lock the keel. And um, let's take a look now at the, uh, the lock bolt a little closer. Um, so basically, um, when you look at the position of the keel, once it's locked with the bolt in place, and um, the cable holding the keel, it should be at about um, 60 degree um, angle. But I always sense the, uh, the keel locking mechanism was a bit of an, uh, an afterthought. Um, so the reality is that uh, a lot of boats uh, with the age and uh, the usage uh, have a, a pretty poor working uh, locking mechanism, if any. I've seen boats with uh, with no bolt or some people would just plug them, uh, glue them with uh, uh, resin or um, epoxy. Um, and it seems that uh, quite a few users um, are just leaving the bolt in place and just uh, letting uh, the keel rest against it. So if you let the keel rest against the lock bolt, um, we're going to move it up a little bit. Basically, it's going to butt against the, uh, the lock bolt here and your keel won't be fully deployed. So if you do that, your boat is going to have a little less stability and uh, it won't go upwind uh, as well as if you were properly uh, locking the keel. So it's important to, um, to lock it, basically. And if you don't put anything, your cable is a little too long, then you risk having the keel having maybe a, too much of a vertical angle. And if your cable is in a bad shape and it breaks, uh, you have the risk of uh, you know, having the keel swing forward and uh, kind of hitting the trunk here. So... Um, you want to keep that uh, that kill cable in a good good shape. Um, so let's put it back in a normal position here. So if you look at the instructions in the Sirens user manual, um, they assume you start from uh, shallow waters uh, with the kill up. So you start moving into the wind, and once you're like. Uh, ready to um, raise your sails uh, prior to do that you want to make sure you drop the keel down for stability um, and in order to do that um, you're going to uh, drop the keel down until it stops against the uh, locking pin here then after you ease it a little bit so you can remove the pin and then you let it slowly go so you can find the pinhole and just push the pin in and uh, tighten the tighten the bolt. And if you look at closely at the motion of uh, the keel in regard to the uh, 
lug bolt uh, hole, um, as you can see, uh, it doesn't move up and down, it moves kind of sideways. So when you're uh, hunting for this hole, this is where, this is what it does basically. It doesn't go up and down, it goes like sideways. Um, on some boats, um, the, um, the, the, on my boat, for example, the cable, the kill cable is at the perfect length. So whenever I drop the kill, those holes are already aligned. And all I have to do is to push the pin in. So if you ever have to uh, replace that cable, I think it's actually a good idea to cut this uh, kill cable to length. So whenever you drop the kill, the locking holes are lining up and you don't have to hunt for it. And the pin can be inserted quickly without uh, taking any water inside the cabin. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, everyone to understand a little better how the uh, swing kill works on the Siren 17 and uh, hopefully you'll keep your kill locked down uh, in heavy weather.